Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Any area you are in this part of the world, it is a paragon of tourism. For the language, for the way we sing, for my food. You'll be surprised the way tourism has gotten into me. If you have eaten the jam, and you have never eaten a Padre jam, you have never eaten any Padre jam. And I started to be hawking Iru, you know, as a hawker. Yeah. I will know who is who, who is dating who, who is not doing this. People talk about Osho. Osho, 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 Osho. It should be Osho Ekiti. Ekiti, you have a swim. You have by you, you can't kill the fish. When you handle the fish, put it in, 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 a, in, a, in a boiling pot, it will boil. I'll be walking from my village, you see, to another village, Ilogo, to another village, Ayogule, to another village, Iroko, to another village, Idao. To another village, Ayatoro. So that is tourism. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I remain your G, Arenga. Today, we are here, live and direct, at where? Adwe Kiti, in a Kiti state, Nigeria, West Africa. <laughs> I have someone very special here. In fact, I really don't know what to say. Because if I say it's an icon, it's like an understatement when it comes to tourism promotion. Yes. So, please welcome the senior special assistant to the Equity State Governor on Tourism. No other person than Ambassador Wale Ojo Larry. <laughs> you are welcome, sir. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Any area you are in this part of the world, I am happy to be on the TV screen of Aranga TV to communicate with you live from Ado Ekiti venue. Fajui Memorial Park. Wow. Ha! Can you hear that? Can you see how vibrant my ambassador is? Can no no no, can you see that? So please, eh? You know now we've we've done this together now. Hey, this is a kitty. In fact, if I claim a kitty as my second home, in fact, <laughs> you will know the reason why. Oh. But however, um, Let's meet. Uh, I will call him because he's my Egbon. Yes, so he's my Egbon. Apart from being the ambassador of tourism all over Nigeria, I'm not, he's not only a Kitio. This person has worked, in fact, throughout Nigeria. Anything at all you want to know about tourism in Nigeria is not only a Kitty, but he is from a Kitty. He's due to all efforts that he has put into tourism promoting tourism in nigeria that is why he is on the seat where he is now as the senior special assistant to the governor of a kitty state on tourism so sir can you just tell us a brief history about who wale ojo Larry is and how you started yeah i have to tell you who i am very briefly to show the world that tourism is inborn in me uh, you'll be surprised the way tourism has gotten into me i started tourism while 
I was uh, repatriated to Usi Ekiti when I was young. And I started to be hawking Iru. And I'd be hawking from my village Usi to another village Ilogo, to another village Ayogule, to another village Iroko, to another village Idao, to another village Ayatoro. So that is tourism. That is commercial tourism. Yes, Iru tourism. That is tourism. That's how I started. Can you hear that? Yeah. That is how I started. It's serious. And I started and I, I, I was okay in because I don't want to be concentrated at home. My grandmother doesn't want me to be going out. And I said, the only way I can go out, maybe because of my restlessness, maybe because of what I was, we were brought from Medde to, to a village and I've been exposed to this kind of life, you know, going out with or KBSCs, going out with chief for a nerd, doing all these social activities with my father. So now being brought back to, to a village, being localized in a room, just because somebody, uh, so they brought somebody, so you, you understand? So I have to, so I started tourism through, and I have able to know a lot about those towns. Those towns, many things they don't even know about the towns. You know, as a hawker, yeah. I will know who is who, who is dating who, who is not doing this, who is doing this, who is stealing. I know all those things. So that is that's how I started. But really, um, uh, like I said, uh, I, I went to school, go schools. I started from Saudi Grammar School, Korea Koko. I went to the State College of Art and Science. I went to University of uh, University of Leife. I went to University of Ibadan. I went to Lee City University. So, uh, but um, I was pushed into tourism, real tourism, when I joined the Nigerian Tribune. The, 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 this is the, the only, the oldest, and the only surviving independent newspaper Newspaper. in Nigeria, founded by Chief of Afebaulo in 1991. I started as a rookie reporter. For a rookie reporter, I was posted to Fisher's Deck. For Fisher's Deck, they now, they, they, somebody, there was a shift in, um, in the in the in, in the editorial, and uh, maybe they thought they want to frustrate or challenge me to another thing. They posted me to the tourism desk, hmm. and we thank God. Hmm. Yeah, we are. Uh, through that, I'll be able to at least now today. I should be. I've been to 68 or 69 countries of the world, and uh, yeah, 68 countries of the world. And um, today, I'm represent. I've, I've been ordained as the. Good with tourism ambassador of two countries in Nigeria. Cote d'Ivoire, Republic of Cote d'Ivoire and Republic of Indonesia. Wow. And uh, to the grace of God and to the good grace of Dr. John Kayo the Fayemi, who always believed to, 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 to saddle with whoever has the content, who if he, he can do it, now making me the senior special assistant to him on tourism development. Before I was director general, a state council for art and culture. And during this time, I was able to take the council to Hungary to perform internationally, locally, we perform in Hungary. Hmm. I took the, we perform in Hungary, we were in Abe Okuta, we were in uh, Benin. We were in Benin 2019, NAFEST, XT came first in innovation and creativity. Wow. Yeah, it became first innovation and creativity. It's all good. Oh. I'm sure you can say that we are in the right place. Whenever you are talking of tourism, I'm endorsing it now, and I'm saying it now, that a kitty state should be your first port of call whenever you visit Nigeria. Yes, that's to those of you in diaspora. And for those of you in Lagos or other parts of the country, ha, you need to visit Ekitio. Yeah, there, there, there are many reasons why they should visit Now, the ambassador will tell you yeah. some of the things that, you know, <laughs> you will really enjoy and love when you come to visit Ekiti. And we will also go to each of all these places that is going to mention, I will bring it to your screen for you to enjoy. So, sir, can you? I'm, I'm sure because I heard that ever since you have become 
part of the i've seen you know the senior special assistants and even before then but now that you have started discovering new tourist sites first let's start with some of the significant tourist centers tourist sites that is so fascinating and the ones that people will see and say wow Great, thank you. You see, you see the totality of Ekiti. Ekiti is a paragon of tourism. Paragon of tourism. For the language, for the way we sing, for my food. If you have eaten Padendiam, and if you have eaten Padendiam, and you have never eaten Ekiti Padendiam, you have never eaten any Padendiam, the difference is clear, number one. So if you are in Nigeria, either you are in Nigeria, you are outside Nigeria, and you want the best of Padendiam, Ekiti is the best. Pandedam, you have to come to Ekiti. That's number one, food tourism. Just keep that one. <laughs> of course, that, that, that is it. If you must eat Ekiti Pandedam, there's no Pandemiam 24 hours, I assure you. So, talking about fantasy, there, there, there are many things in Ekiti that is nowhere, or that is even somewhere you have to travel. Let me tell you, I can I will shock you now. It, it is... If you go to South Africa, the Cape Mountains, if you go to Budukatu Ranch, what do you go there to visit? You go to Obudukatu um, um, Ranch to experience walking in the cloud. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll be walking in the cloud. That is where the land and the sea and the uh, and maybe and the cloud and meets. The cloud meet, yeah. It's in Ekiti, Efanla, you reach. Yeah, you go there and walk and walk in the cloud. You be walking in cloud. You will see, visit the place on your way to Lagos. You will visit the place on your way to Lagos. You walk in the cloud. You walk in the cloud. You walk in the cloud in Ekiti. That is number one. Secondly, you have been, you have been talking about rocks. This place is um, Ori Okuta, it's Ali Okuta, something like Okuta. I'm not, I don't want to be specified, uh, specific. specific yeah. But in Ekiti, it's the only place in the world where you have a rock. And under this rock, there's what we call amphitheater, a natural amphitheater, created, naturally created amphitheater, naturally, that can contain 250 guests. You, you are going to, if I'm telling you that you are going to see the place, you visit the place tomorrow, a natural amphitheater, with seven caves and a tunnel. Natural amphitheater that, that contains 250, that can contain 250 guests. Seven caves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seven different caves. We have room and parlor, we have bedroom, we have extension. We don't know. We don't know those people who created it. Whether they are roaming, whether they are ghosts, whether they are those uh, patient people of, 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 of those worlds. But you, 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 you go there, it's in a city. And in Ekiti, you have a stream. You have by view. You can't kill the fish. You go there. You put. You you can't. When you handle the fish, put it in a in a, in a, in a boiling pot. It will boil. Mm -mm. Yeah, you come and, and, and see that that's in Ekiti. It is all in Ekiti. Ogu, the god of fire. Ogu, the god of fire, is a saint in Brazil. I was in Brazil January. January. I came back around February before the the. the you understand? Ogun the code of in Brazil, Ogun has been has been canonized as Saint George. You understand? And a day, a special holiday, national holiday has been declared for Ogun. Ogun sank here. Ogun is in the city. You see, you visit where it sank. Sank. You see the sign, the machete, the sword. All its appurtenances are there. Yeah. People talk about Osho. Osho, Osho, go, Osho, Osho, go. It should be Osho, Ekiti. Because, the, of course. No, why are you looking at this, my brother? It should be Osho, Ekiti. What is Osho, Osho, go? Come. How do we relate? The origin of Osho, Osho, go is in Ekiti. Ike, Ekiti. Yeah, that is the origin. Where yeah? Osho? Moves to Oshubo is here. So before any Osho festival, seven days before any Osho festival could take place, the people of Osho, Oshubo will come here and do the necessary. Seriously? Of course. 
it is if you go to the uh, to the Afin of Atauja, they will tell you I've been there, I've been there, I've, I've talked with the, uh, Atauja and the wife, I've been there. So it is there, but many people don't know about all this. You just uh, it is in this equity you'll be shocked that the only palm tree, the only palm tree in the world, go and feed on. The only palm tree with 42, 42 heads is in Nekiti. Uh, 40, 42 heads. The only, only palm tree with 42 heads is in Nekiti. The only palm tree, a palm tree that has 42 heads is in Nekiti. You go, it is in Ekiti. Yeah. So there are many and many of such. And let me tell you, the only museum, this is Fajuri Park, where you are is where we bury the paragon of the Yoruba person as a reliable man that you can do business with, that you can rely on. This is where the man was buried. And this will be everything. Okay, sir, um, can you please tell us a little history of the late Pa Adekunle Faji? The great Colin Adekule Faji was born in Adekiti. He joined the Nigerian army out of great passion to serve his fatherland. He was one of the best and finest ever Nigerian army ever produced. Finest officer Nigerian army ever produced. And he had an international accolade all over where he served. He was the governor of Western region. You, you understand? And during this period, when he was governor, the then head of state, Aguiji Zosi, was visiting. And it was when he was visiting Ibadan, Western region, that the coupist now has to come to kill him, to execute him, to eliminate him in Ibadan. And the man said, no, he's my visitor, I'm his host. You cannot kill him. If you want to kill him, you have to kill him. They said, no, 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 we didn't come for you. You're a good officer, you are this. said, no, no. When he was in the north, he was visiting the north, you did not kill him. He was in the east, you did not kill him. Said, no, why are you not coming to him to kill him? I said, I should, I should allow you to kill him. That we have set Nigeria into place. And that we have that we have made the other tribe of Nigeria to destroy us. He said no. So he first said, he said, if you have killed my, my, my visitor, I'm going to kill him. And that's why he was killed. That is where we are here today. And that is why you can see this park is part for freedom, it's part for peace, it's part for love, it's part for um, uh, reliability, it's part of, of dependability. And this is why you can see the, the you can feel the here and now. It's different from the here, the atmosphere here. It's different from the atmosphere of where you are staying or where you are coming from. This is the magic one of Faji Memorial Park. Hmm. Come and visit and feel it. I, I think you have to tell them. Yes. So you've heard from the Aussie's mouth. Now, um, sir, what message do you have for Nigerians in diaspora and most especially the the the, 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 the what, what do you is it Ekitians or what do you call them? Yeah, Ekitians. Let us see. Let's say the Ekitians. Uh -huh. So, what message do you have for them, sir? I have a great message for Nigerians. Number one, Ekiti is the only place again that you can see the warm and the cold stream flowing together in the same place. Warm, cold water flowing in the same place. And you, you, you will find what makes this warm. The cold and warm water. It is only Ekiti you can have that resource. And in Ekiti too, we have one of the best, one of the best fascinating waterfall at Ipole Iloro. Yeah, you will fall in love when you get there tomorrow. Yeah, you will fall in love, you are going to tell him. And what we are telling Nigeria is that for whatever it is, if you want a place you can visit for tourism, for culture, for value, for food tourism, for religious tourism, Ekiti is land 
of prophets. Hmm. It is where God answers prayers quickly and fastly. Yeah. Hmm. Most of the prophets all over Nigeria, they converge on Ikiti on several months. I mean, months of prayer. Months of Babalola. Okay. You, you remember uh -huh. Baba -ba 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 Babalola? Babalola, the founder of C.A.C. Church. As his mountains, his prayer mountains, his, 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 his religious travels, his waters, water, watering holes are all in the city. In Ido Ile, Ido Ile is one of the most patronized, what we call religious tourism sites in Nigeria. Hmm. Yeah, and they have found the place, Ekiti, mountain where God answers prayer. Yeah. So when you are coming to Nigeria, Religious tourism, for food tourism, for aquatic tourism, for eco tourism, for cultural tourism, for entertainment, just visit it. And remember, if you have not eaten it by the jam, you have not eaten any by the jam. Any ekiti, ulela bosi miyoko, eya bohale, eya kero yoko hale o, anto ekpani jale ekiti, eya jayo ekiti. Wet, red wine, Buddha. I am Mujenioma. I am Mujenio. Wet, red wine, Buddha. Trophy at the original issue. So come home, establish, come and invest here. If it is doing fine, the governor of the state, Dr. John Carl Defire, is very proactive and is promoting a conducive atmosphere for all of you to come home and visit. God bless. Honestly, um, ever since I came into a kitty yesterday, I've noticed that it's a peaceful state. And um, I will have to come back again. Yes. You must. This, this is a place for everybody to visit. It's a place for everybody to do what? To visit. Um, to run it off, sir. Ah. Where do you see tourism in 10 years' time? Oh. Yeah, um, in Nikiti, right? Yes, sir. I I'm paying. Tourism will grow in Nikiti. Let me tell you why I'm saying this. For anything to grow, there must be one, the legal, the fundamental legal framework must be planted. Dr. John Kayo Defiemi has planted the legal framework for the growth of tourism by passing the tourism law this year. So, wow. so it is not just uh, everybody's business. It is everybody's business, but with regulations. Mm -hmm. And when, when, there's a, when there are regulations, it will grow. You know who to talk to, you know what to do. You will be able to, you be able to get the best um, um, precise, precise, uh, precise statistics. Exactly. Precise statistics. You know what, what happened last year. There will be proper documentation. There will be proper progress. That one is set. So I'm very sure with this, it's not somebody, one governor will now come tomorrow or another tomorrow and say, no, 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 mm. they are not going to do all those things. Secondly, Governor Kaudi for me, as if it's that, I, 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 I've done that a lot too, yeah, that ensure that whatever the predecessor in office eh, embark on, the one coming must complete, complete it. it. So there, there, there is no abandon project for any project. So whatever we are doing now, I'm very sure it will be sustainable. And I believe with whatever we are going to achieve in the next two, two years, every interest, every stakeholder, every person in the city state, we understand the import and value of tourism. And they will always embrace tourism policies and strategy. Thank you.
Wow. You've had it all. So, it's on this note that I'm going to bring this uh, uh, interview to an end. Till I come your way same time with another wonderful and interesting video, I say bye-bye and uh, hold up.